One of the biggest tips I have for visiting Japan is to leave room for wandering and making mistakes. Nothing went as planned in this vlog, and let me tell you, I researched and double checked all my notes and still, well, you'll see. So I am currently 0 for 3. Regardless, this vlog is, I guess, a great example of how some of the best travel days can come from mistakes and being open to pivoting off a well manicured schedule. I am very excited because I have been in Tokyo for the past couple of weeks. So I came here for a couple of reasons. I am one shooting videos all around Tokyo for you guys. Those videos are gonna be coming to my channel soon along with a bunch of travel guides on my blog with a lot more details about how you can also do the itinerary and visit these places. And the second reason I'm here is because my dad's furniture actually was shipped from LA to Tokyo and arrived actually yesterday. Feeling I'm really good about how like we unpacked everything everything's looking really good over here and today I'm really excited because I get to see my friend Amy she is a friend who I knew from LA we actually played basketball against each other and then reconnected recently and then she moved to Japan which feels very serendipitous in a way just because like by the time I met her was around the time that I was just figuring out that I was gonna do this whole Japan thing on my channel and she she just so happened to have this epiphany that she was gonna move back. So yeah, I don't know. Everything just happens for a reason and I'm very excited to see her. I haven't seen her since my last trip here, which was in the fall. Since it is Golden Week, and I'm not seeing Amy till later in the afternoon. We're gonna work at a cafe. There are a few Golden Week like festivities happening this morning at Meiji Shrine or Meiji Jingu. So my dad and I are actually gonna head out there this morning to go watch some of the festivities. So one of the things we're actually watching is at 9 a.m. there's a Japanese archery demonstration. We're gonna head out there this morning, check it out. I am praying that it is not too crowded. However, it is golden week, so we'll see how things pan out crowd-wise. Today is nice and sunny, nice and warm. It's been kind of rainy, so it might be humid. I'm also hoping today to hopefully maybe pick up a UV umbrella. It's like this tiny compact umbrella that you put in your purse and whenever it's sunny outside, you kind of just pop it open and it just gives you your own shade. And definitely don't see this around LA that often, but in Japan, you see it all over the place. And in my mind, I'm like, how smart is that? You just always have your own shade going on. So. I've been seeing it everywhere and I have decided this is the trip that I'm actually gonna buy one for myself. I don't know, I'm gonna try to maybe find one today, who knows, but it is hot, it is sunny, so I feel like today is the perfect day to maybe finally, finally get my own UV umbrella. All right, with that, let's head on out to Meiji Shrine. We got off at Yoyogi Station and are heading over to Meiji Jingu and you can see a lot of other people walking towards the shrine as well. See how crowded it is? I don't know. The Meiji Shrine in Tokyo is one of Japan's most famous Shinto shrines and a popular tourist destination because of its central location to some of the city's busiest districts. The shrine is located in the heart of the city, adjacent to Harajuku and Shibuya. The shrine is surrounded by a 170-acre forest comprising of about 100,000 trees donated from all over Japan. The tranquility of the forest and shrine make it the perfect escape from the lively city noise and crowds. Meiji Shrine is dedicated to the deified spirits of the Emperor Meiji and his wife. It is a significant symbol of Shinto, Japan's indigenous religion, and represents the connection between the spiritual world and Japan's modernization. The shrine hosts various holiday and seasonal events throughout the year that attract millions of visitors. Meiji Shrine performs traditional ceremonies and rituals regularly 
which offers visitors a window into Japanese culture and religion. It's a great place to visit for those interested in learning about Japan's cultural heritage. I'm so sad. They canceled the archery and the next thing that they're doing for Golden Week isn't until 10. So we're just gonna head and get some coffee instead. I was unable to see the stuff happening at the shrine. Totally fine, but it would have stayed except for the fact that I am just starving. And if you know me, you know that food is a priority because I just become a monster if I'm starving. So <laughs> we are gonna go and treat ourselves to a coffee shop that I really, really like here near Yoyogi Park. It has these really good biscuits and they're super flaky. I'm very excited. These are bathrooms. <laughs> very cool. I also want to note that this area in general has a lot of cute little coffee shops and cafes that are open early. So if you ever are near Yoyogi Park, check out the coffee around the area. No skin, but... So failed twice today. Went to the wrong location for the little nap roasters. We went to the stand instead of the roasters and there's a difference. The roasters actually has a place where you can sit inside and they have the best scones, but this place is a stand. It's really cute, but it's not the same and they didn't have my scones, so. Today I am 0 for 2 on the things I wanted to do, but it's okay. Right, Dad? Yep. <laughs> so right now we are headed towards Shibuya. Gonna do a little bit of shopping since I have a couple of hours before I meet Amy at Little Darling Coffee Roasters in Aoyama. for my umbrella.
on my way to meet Amy at the cafe. We're gonna work for a bit, but see how much work we get done because we haven't seen each other in a while. So I think it's about to be a huge catch up sesh. I was unsuccessful in finding an umbrella. So I am currently 0 for 3 on all the things that I plan to do today. But I think hanging out with Amy is gonna make up for all my uh, misses today. Oh, this park is beautiful. Just so lush and green. Today is such a pretty day too. It's like 73 degrees. Now we are hungry and we are looking for soba. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So we just finished a crepe, a beer, 
and we may wait for more DJ. I don't know, but it's so nice out here. It is a vibe. Yeah. DJ music, beer garden, puppies and sweaters. It's so relaxing. It's out so here. relaxing. So, yeah, good way to end the day hanging out. And yeah, all right.